Welcome to the last week of school at my house. But I do want to tell you that I think even though this will be the last week that I put them up in Canvas, I'm going to keep putting them up on uh, the YouTube channel so that you can do our projects all summer long if you want to. So keep checking back with them and see what I have posted next. I also wanted to thank Elise and her mom, Mrs. Peel, who surprised me with a great watermelon towel and a little gift card. Thank you so much. I appreciate it and I miss all of you. Okay, so today's project, I have to kind of hold it together because we're going to do something with it in a minute. We're going to draw a little fox and then we're going to use a different type of background than we've tried before. So, on our regular white piece of paper, we're going to draw a fox. There's a simple way, and if you um, look this up on Pinterest, how to draw an easy fox, you'll get a lot that go like this. You take like a flying seagull. Some of you draw your birds like that, okay? Then you're going to go around this so it's the top of his head, okay? Then you're gonna come down here with the curve for the, the bottom of his head. Right here on this point is going to be his nose, and I'm gonna make it be a little triangle, and I'll erase that part out, okay? Then I'm going to come down like this and like this for his mouth. Up here, we're going to add his eyes, okay? And our fox, they have pointy ears, so we're going to add a biggish pointy ear here and one here. Then we'll add the little part right here so it looks like you can look inside his ear. Okay, and now we have our fox's face. Right here, they have little pointy edges, so if you want to come out and make yours a little zigzag like that, with the fur, you can. I'm gonna pull this side out a little bit more too. Okay, and we're gonna fix our little box like that. For his body, we're just gonna come curve line here and a curve line there, so he's sitting straight looking at us. We're gonna come here for his legs and his legs, and then we're gonna give him the top part of his paws. And they're just gonna be kind of like semicircles. Then we are going to add this fluffy part of his fur, which is white. So I'm gonna kind of zigzag this around. Remember to draw lightly so we can erase out any of the extra lines that we don't want, okay? So now we have his chest. We're gonna have a little bit of the back of his body right here. And one thing that makes a fox recognizable is its big, fluffy, orange and white tail. So we're gonna curve this guy's tail. We're gonna come around here. And then I'm going to cut through some of my feet. I'm gonna fluff it out a little bit more. I'm gonna erase this part out. And at the tip of the fox, he has a white part of it and an orange part of it. So now I'm just gonna check and see what else I need to add. And I need to just add the bottom of his body to fill that up. So, there was a simple way to draw a fox. Now, for our background, I've used chalk for this. And some of you know, that I do not like chalk. It makes, it really bothers my, to touch it. And I know some of you have that problem too. But I also tell you, the more you practice things, the better you get. So, I was practicing using my chalk and I used just my regular chalk. My white, I added some light blue in it. Then I used my black for the tips of his ears and his legs. I gave him a little bit of yellow. I use my chalk for his face, okay? So you can make your fox look however you want. 
And then there's this, a little trick and I didn't bring it over with me, but I cut this out. Well, first of all, it was on my white paper. I took it outside and I sprayed it with my can of hairspray. That's a little trick to keep the chalk from being so messy. So I sprayed him, I let it dry, and then I cut him out. And then I decided for my background, I was going to use a black piece of construction paper. And I have some construction paper laying around the house. So I had some brown and I just cut it into strips and I glued my strips down so that I would have my tree trunks in the background. Then, well, oh, I had a bush. So with green, I cut out a bush and I can put my bush here and I can glue it down. I can glue that here. I had ripped out a piece of green construction paper to be my ground. So I can glue that down. And you can see, you can add as many different layers of construction paper as you want. Now I think I'm gonna go ahead and put him right here. I'm gonna use my glue. I'm gonna put him down. Cause you know, I always tell you guys, it's not just about the thing that you're drawing. If you're drawing a whole picture, you wanna have your background as well. So here's the start to mine. And then the next thing I was gonna do, I started to cut out little green leaves out of green construction paper. And I'm just gonna fill it in. All I'm doing, if I, and if I wanna to cut two at a time, I fold my paper. Remember, leaves are an organic shape, which means something from nature. And I'm just gonna go ahead and cut out leaves and glue them down to fill up my space so my little fox is hiding in the woods. And I'm gonna add more, but we're not gonna have enough time. So see if you can make a fox in the woods and post it back to me, either on Canvas or um, you can do it directly onto the Winsong Fine Arts page, okay? One more project after this and then it's summer. Bye.